All right, let's get straight to it. 2014 Chevy Cruze. This is the 1.4 liter engine. And today we are changing the spark plugs and ignition coil. So let's start with disconnecting the negative battery terminal. And just like that. There's this cover right here on top. We need to get that up. Just reach to the side and pull up. Just like that. And now your ignition coil is exposed right on top. So to undo this harness, just pull this purple tab back like that. And then you can just pull, push down on this tab and twist and pull backwards. Just like that. Now you have two T30 Torx bit screws in there. So I'm gonna use this T30 to go ahead and get those two screws out. And I could go ahead and pull this up. So you can see what this looks like. This is the old one, and there's a lot of oil down here, so I could only assume this valve cover gasket needs to be changed as well. Now that it's up, you can see our spark plugs down there, and especially that one there definitely has some oil. I'm going to try to get some kind of rag or something to soak some of that oil up. Um, the rest of it will just fall down in there, and it'll burn out through the exhaust once I start the vehicle. Um, but yeah, so it's time to get these old spark plugs up. So I am using a 5 8 um, spark plug um, socket um, or a 16 millimeter. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and put it down there just like that. And now I'm going to get my wrench and I'm going to ratchet that all the way out. So this boot in here should keep the spark plug in there and pull it up. But if you don't have a boot in yours, um, or if you're just using a 16 millimeter or 5 eighths, that's not a um, spark plug socket, then you can also use a magnet when getting this out, or you can pull the old boot off of the, uh, the old uh, ignition coil, and you can use that to get it out. Man, look at the condition of these old plugs. Now, don't just focus on the top because that's the oil, but on the even just the bottom, you can see how corroded they are. So now it's time to put our new plugs on. So make sure that they are gapped to the uh, correct specs. So this is my trick to getting my spark plug started. This is an old spark plug um, ignition coil boot from an old ignition coil. So if you don't have one, um, you can use maybe a magnet to get it down in there um, softly, but this is how I get it to get it started. Um, usually, you can use your ignition coil boots, but since this one is a weird ignition coil and it only has one, it kind of makes it harder for you to uh, to do that with this. But if you keep an old ignition coil boot like this, and then you always be able to get these in there, and so. It's not tight, of course, but it's down in there. So all four spark plugs are down there and they are tight and torqued to the proper specs. So we're going to go ahead to putting our ignition coil in. Of course, we have our brand new ignition coil. So basically just take the ignition coil, set it right back how we got it out, right back on top. Make sure you press them down firmly so that it's sitting on top of those spark plugs. And then once you're sure you have it firmly, we can go ahead and put those two T30 screws back in. Okay, so now that this is down nice and tight, we can go ahead and then reattach our harness. Now we can go ahead and reinstall our top cover. Just like that negative battery terminal
All right, guys. Well, that is it. That's how you change your spark plugs and ignition coil in the 2014 Chevy Cruze.